in St. Petersburg, investigators are one step closer to solving a very gruesome crime. Using DNA evidence, police have identified the man whose severed head was found last summer near the side of the road in St. Pete. Fox 13's Catherine Holly is live at police headquarters tonight. Catherine, what do they know? Have they told us much about the victim? Well, St. Petersburg police tell us his name was Donald Costin, and he was 80 years old. But what's still a mystery tonight is how the elderly man died. A woman out for a jog the morning of July 7, 2020, made a grisly discovery, a decomposing human head. At the time, St. Pete police said they couldn't tell the person's race or gender. Now, nearly a year later, investigators have identified the remains as this man, Donald Costin. Though we were able to identify him through DNA, we don't have any information on his cause of death. The elderly man was found about two weeks before his 81st birthday. This was sad to know that he gone. That, that was my neighbor. People who used to live near Costin in South St. Pete tell us he was friendly, but mostly kept to himself. I don't understand why somebody hurt him like that. He was very, very quiet. According to online court records, Costin was arrested in 1984 and charged with first-degree murder. He pled guilty to a lesser charge of second-degree murder and was sentenced to 20 years in prison. Over the next 36 years, there's just one other criminal charge against him. Police say they're more focused on what Costin was doing in 2020. If you know Mr. Costin and can think of the last time you saw him and it, it was around July, the end of June, we'd be very, very interested in hearing from you. The smallest of details could help us in this case. Now, detectives are trying to piece together Costin's last days and really figure out what happened to the 80-year-old. Right now, this case is considered a death investigation. If you know anything, call St. Pete Police. Kelly. All right, Catherine Hawley reporting for us tonight. Thank you so much.